Thank you. All those claps and applause for me, I love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our first botanical garden in the country. Welcome to the Boston Public Garden. My name is Ryan Woods, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Parks Commissioner for the City of Boston. Thank you. Um, I'm thrilled to welcome you all to the ceremony. The weather can be difficult on our garden contest uh, ceremony night, so it's nice to be able to gather here in these botanical gardens for the second year in a row. We would have been in a classroom at Suffolk Law School, so we appreciate Suffolk, but we are glad we are not sitting at desks and we are out here in the garden today. Gardening has its own unique challenges, and this year is no different. Last year, we witnessed gardeners battle the lack of rain. And this year, we've seen gardeners and their plants truly rise to the occasion when they were confronted with an abundance of rain. We're always impressed by the work of our city gardeners that they've been doing to beautify the city of Boston. Whether you're a new gardener or you've been at it for decades, gardening brings community together from all walks of life while helping beautify the city. A great number of our favorite winning gardens this year are not just hidden away in backyards, they share their joy with the whole community. This annual contest would not be possible without the continued support from our sponsors, as well as our friends that have helped make our award packages possible. Thank you to our grand prize sponsor, JetBlue, for providing our raffle prize for the first place winners. Sitting right here in the front row. <laughs> and thank you to Mahoney's Garden Center for providing gift cards to all top three winners of each category, to the Hall of Fame inductees, and to the judges. Thank you, James Homan, the general manager of Mahoney's Garden, Brighton Store, who is here joining us this evening. And to kick off this celebration, please help me welcome one of the city's biggest advocates for open space, parks, playgrounds, and gardens, the mayor of the city of Boston, Mayor Michelle Wu. Thank you so much, Commissioner. And um, I'm just so lucky every single day to get to wake up and go to work alongside a team that is not only best in the country, but so devoted and so compassionate and excited and always wanting to do more in terms of bringing our, our community into our processes. Um, I, I am very much always in our parks and playgrounds. This is an area of everything that Ryan does. I say, you know, whatever Ryan needs, we need to find a way to make it happen. Gardening is the one area out of that bucket where I um, watch and appreciate much more than I can get my hands dirty. I've never fully allowed myself, and every year this is my reminder when I'm with all of you all, to say now, now's the moment I need to collect all of your, your tips and expertise uh, because we are on the verge of declaring my yard an urban wild. It is getting to that point. Uh, so please hold me accountable to that and hopefully one year I will um, venture out and, and be able to uh, improve myself on, on this front because there's so much to be inspired by. As Ryan said, um, this, this year and last year have been challenging, um, and as Boston's weather shifts and, and climate shifts, you all are some of the very first to see what that means and, and to understand the consequences and then uh, still to find a way to make that magic happen. I'm so excited that as a city we have been um, putting energy to celebrating not only the big uh, grandiose open spaces that exist, some of which are uh, the most historic in the country, but to ensure that that joy and green and beauty can exist in every single one of our neighborhoods and ideally in every single one of our homes as well. So thank you for all that you all do to spread that love and magic across our neighborhoods. Uh, congratulations to all of the winners here today, uh, especially to our inductees. That's always a, a very, very special moment for those who have put in a lot of uh, time and love into this. And I'll just echo the thanks as well to Mahoney's and JetBlue. Thank you to our sponsors and partners for ensuring that today's celebration could be extra special. So great to be with you all tonight. Thank you very much, Mayor. It's now my pleasure to introduce our green thumb in our office, um, my supervisor, who is not only a community gardener, also is part of her own farm in New Hampshire. Please welcome the Chief of Environment, Energy, and Open Space for the City of Boston, Reverend Mariama White Hammond. So I will be brief, but I always love to be here. It's so great to see so many fellow gardeners, people who recognize um, how important it is to get your hands on the soil. I know for many of you, it's as much therapeutic for you as it is beautiful for other people to look at. Um, and so just wanna say thank you. 
Thank you for the beauty that you create in our city. Thank you for taking the thing that you love and offering it back as a gift to everyone around you. And so I look forward, I get to get to see some of the photos. This year I didn't get to judge, but I will definitely be back on the judging trail um, next year and just so grateful to be with you, to be with the mayor. I know this is one of our fun events that we get to do every year. So looking forward to uh, the announcement of winners and so glad to be here with you guys. Thank you. Yep. Now on to this year's awards. So we're going to start uh, and go in order as they are in your program, but we're starting with the small yard garden category winners. So with each category, we'll start with third, second, first, and, and call everybody up. So in the small yard and garden category, in third place, John Carroll of Jamaica Plain. Oh, you can just go around, sure. <laughs> in second place, Blair Campbell of Dorchester. You can do a group photo. And in first place, Julia Fairclough of Roslindale. Gardeners in the small yard category creatively utilize their land to produce big results in 250 square feet or less. Judges were impressed with how much could be done in such small spaces. They took notice of composting and rain barrels, even in the smallest of settings, with great mixes of annuals and perennials coupled with herbs and vegetables. These gardens featured gorgeous recycled hardware and repurposing of paver stones. Congratulations to all of our small yard garden category winners. For medium yard garden, our category winners are, in third place, Matthew Delisle from Charlestown, who was unable to attend today. In second place, Jessica Vaughn Amon of Roxbury. And in first place, Sandra Jordan and Robert Monahan of Jamaica Plain. Gardeners in the medium size yard garden created beautiful gardens in 500 square feet or less. Judges took note of a homemade greenhouse, large planters, koi ponds, and fountains with great fixtures. These gardens were all described as very neat and very appealing. Congratulations to all of our medium yard garden winners. Our next category is large yard garden. In third place, Joe Fallon and Whit Hendon of Dorchester. In second place, Kevin McKenna of Roslindale. And in first place, Rick Malkazian of Fenway slash Kenmore. The large gar yard garden is a very popular category where gardeners get to show off their plots of 500 square feet or more. Proving the versatility of these gardens, our first place winner opted to compete in the large garden category rather than entering in the community garden category and was rewarded with a first place prize. Judges described the garden as having a stunning and elegant presentation in a setting providing both sun and shade. Other gardens in this category were described as tranquil and attractive. Congratulations to each of our Large Yard Garden winners. The next quarter category is Porch, Balcony, or Container Garden. Category winners are, in third place, Colia Zimmerman of Charlestown. In second place, Alex and Stephanie Charlagas of the South End. And in first place, Salil Sharma of the South End and accepting on uh, their behalf is Labby Shrustha. The porch, balcony, container, yard, guard, uh, garden category highlights those gardeners that may not have had the most space to work with, but that did not limit their creativity and ingenuity. These gardeners featured irrigation systems, greenhouses on a balcony, 
to start plants from seed, as well as creative solutions to potted plants to reduce weight. Judges enjoyed views that could be enjoyed from the inside of a home uh, in a veggie garden for the kids to work on. They also noticed incredible color and a variety that comes with a whimsical sense of humor. Congratulations to all of our porch, balcony, and container yard garden winners. The next category is our shade gardens. In third place, Tess Kennard of the Fenway. In second place, Barbara Burley of Roslindale. And in first place, Alan White and Dale Belcher of Roslindale. The shade garden category covers gardens planted in areas with little or no direct sunlight. Some of these occur naturally and others are by design under trees or fences. This has become an increasingly competitive category lately. Judges remarked on the great use of color and variety despite the low light levels. Multi-level waterfalls and water features galore. They also enjoyed uh, a father-daughter fence project that involved welding doorknobs to fence posts. One contestant remarked that they liked to think that they were planting with the plants when designing their garden. Decades of work in gardening has gone into some of these winners' gardens and it shows. These gardeners have shown they can do a lot with a little sunlight utilizing plants that prefer low light environments. Congratulations to all of our shade garden winners. Our next category, always a favorite of the judges because they usually get to go home with something, is our vegetable or herb container gardens. In third place, Sunny Ha of Brighton. In second place, Osuru Mese Oko of Roxbury. I did it right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and in first place, June Odajima of West Roxbury. Congratulations. The vegetable and herb garden is a frequent favorite of our judges. This category always shines light upon the advantages of growing your own food. This category featured so many different varieties of edible foods that it is going to read like a grocery list. Raspberries, Korean sweet potatoes, tomatoes, apple, lemon, cherry trees, eggplant, asparagus, edamame, purple basil, okra, pumpkins, and more. Judges also noted that they enjoyed ornamental decorations and lights to brighten the garden, lilies, and the use of stonework. Winning gardens had a lot packed into small areas. Congratulations to all of our vegetable and herb garden winners. The next category is our Age Strong Gardener. In third place, Cheryl White of Roslindale, who is unable to attend tonight. In second place, Junior Yearwood of Dorchester. And in first place, Jennifer Park of Roslindale. The Age Strong category highlights the work of our gardeners who are 65 years of age or older. The positive health aspects of gardening are always evident in this category. Gardeners creatively maximize the space afforded uh, to them with beautiful results. Judges were impressed by the use of rain barrels to capture water for the garden, composters, and the use of found objects, including a car fender and a bathtub. The mix of natural and formal spaces that created relaxing and inviting environments. Congratulations to our Age Strong Garden category winners. Our storefront organization or Main Street District Garden category winners are in third place, the Comfort Kitchen of Dorchester, accepting on behalf of the Comfort Kitchen is owner Bipla Rai. In second place, the Hancock Garden Club of Beacon Hill, accepting on the behalf of the Hancock Garden Club are Ann Sheets, Jillian Gady, and Cheryl DiCarlo. And in first place, the gardening enthusiasts at Primus of Beacon Hill. Accepting on their behalf is Brenda Chamberlain, Stephen and Elizabeth Saunders, Brian Sullivan, and Connor Hickey. And a special shout out to Brian Sullivan for all the work that he did in help beautifying Primus Avenue.
careful with the cord there. <laughs> the, this category encourages businesses and organizations to beautify storefronts, yards, or patios, and in turn, improve the aesthetics of their neighborhoods, creating welcoming spaces that builds community. This category featured gardeners who single-handedly maintain gardens, as well as teams of people working together towards a common goal. Judges were impressed by the teamwork expressed in this category and the activations in many seasons in these gardens. Congratulations to all of our storefront business and organization garden winners. Our next category is our community garden. In third place, Laura Poulin and Brian Hardy of the Fenway Kenmore Victory Gardens. In second place, Kristen Corman, also of the Fenway Victory Gardens. And in first place, Joe and Dolores Fazio, we can all say it together, guess where they're from? The Fenway Victory Gardens. <laughs> Community gardens are always an important resource for urban settings, even more so today, and we are so proud to see how competitive this category has been becoming these past few years. While the Fenway Victory Gardens is a frequent home to the winners in this category, this year's crop of winners are appearing in the top three uh, for the first time this year. Judges enjoyed bird and bug houses with lots of pollinator plants, freshly harvested carrots, and noted that these gardeners were quite abundant in the small areas they had to work with. Congratulations to all of our community garden winners. There are over 400 plots in the Fenway Victory Garden, so everyone is aware. <laughs> That completes all of our categories for the nine categories, and now we want to get into our Hall of Fame inductees. So now it's the time to recognize the contest winners who will be inducted into the Mayor's Garden Contest Hall of Fame. The winners here tonight are among the best of the best. Among you is a group of gardeners who exhibited gardening excellence year after year, and therefore will be inducted into the Mayor's Contest Hall of Fame by winning at least three times. First, we'd like to congratulate next year's um, Hall of Fame winners, so you don't need to come up, but just raise your hand. These are people that, as of today, have won for their third time in a row, and next year will receive a Hall of Fame inductee, and that's Alex and Stephanie Chalagas, Colia Zimmerman, Sandra Jordan and Robert Monahan, Sonny Ha, Julia Fairclaw, and Cheryl White. And now I'd like to recognize this year's class of Hall of Fame inductees. Please come forward when your name is called to receive your Hall of Fame award. So for the Hall of Fame Ers for this year, Linda Scala of Jamaica Plain. <laughs> Dave Conley of East Boston, who was unable to attend today. And Stephen Davey and uh, Deanna DiPierio of the Fenway Victory Gardens. And John Ruiz of the Fenway Victory Gardens. These golden shovels are great at breakfast time, especially if you can ever get them off the plaque. <laughs> now it's my pleasure to introduce uh, one of our main sponsors. I'd welcome to the podium Sandra Palmer, JetBlue's General Manager of Station Operations, and April Adams of their Government Affairs Division for JetBlue Boston to please say a few words. Thank you very much. I'm very short, so I need a lot of help here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for inviting me to this beautiful garden contest. It is an honor to be here with you this evening. Um, Boston is very important to JetBlue. We started flying in 2004 with only three flights a day and 30 crew members. Fast forward to today, we now are happy to announce that we have over 130 daily flights and over 4,000 crew members. As you can imagine, our focus continues to, 
to grow in the station. Um, and we have two beautiful updates for you where we hope the winner chooses to go to uh, one of those destinations. Um, the, gro the growth commitment continues and earlier this year we announced our new route Boston Amsterdam AMS for those of you who are already searching. Um, it will start next month the 20th of September so we hope to see you there. You can still buy tickets. Uh, and the next the next destination is very special to us as well. We don't have a, a date uh, where we launch yet, but Boston Paris is coming to town, Bostonians. We're really, really, really looking forward to it and we will share those details as soon as we have them. To close, I would like to share that JetBlue admires the Boston Parks and Recreations uh, and how the city maintains them. The gardens around here are absolutely amazing and beautiful. I grew up in Boston and when I was a teenager, I spent a lot of time here and I can tell you, I wish we had more gardens back then. So great job for keeping up with this beauty. It is absolutely gorgeous and I will definitely be coming back with my family. Um, we are also very proud to support all of you and the students of these beautiful green spaces and we enjoy supporting the departments um, through the year, yearly fundraisers as well as the Boston tree lighting which is actually one of our most um, loved by our crew members so we're already looking forward to the end of the year event and um, you can count on JetBlue to be there. Once again thanks for inviting me to this beautiful event and we look forward to our partnership and congratulations to all the winners you guys are well deserving and we hope to do this again next year. Thank you. I think we can pick a winner now. Yes. So I'm going to pass all the first place winners are put into this bowl, if we can get it off here. And I'm going to make sure that um, the chief and the mayor get the, uh, the flack for this. So I'm going to make sure that they have the container to pick the winner. I'll hold it. <laughs> and this, so the first place winners are in the running for two round trip, trip tickets to anywhere JetBlue uh, non-stop destination from Boston. And this year's winner, Rick Malkazian. <laughs> Come on, Rick, for a picture. <laughs> His biggest challenge is who are you bringing with you now from that group? <laughs> we'll just get a picture. Thank you, Mayor. Nice. Ready? One more? Ready? Get in there. It's at the table. Do one more of those, that looks cool. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> he wants it now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations, Rick. I do not envy you on your choice of who was attending with you. Thank you to Sandra and April as well for being with us. And Sandra touched on it, but um, it's important that we thank the hardworking men and women of the Boston Parks Department. So the Friends of the Public Garden are our great partner that help us with all of the tree work, all of our statue, all of the artwork in here. But all of the planting beds that are done are all done by Boston Parks Department employees. The stuff summer, uh, winters in our greenhouse in Franklin Park, a lot of the tropicals, and they're installed. So you sometimes see them out here on their hands and knees doing bulb for bulb. So I want to just give a round of applause to the workers of the Boston Parks Department. <laughs> as well as to the Boston Park Rangers who help patrol this. We have Reggie who's been back, back with us forever, back in the back there, and, and, and Walter Evans uh, with us as well. I want to thank the Boston Park Rangers for all the work and goodwill ambassadorship that they bring to our parks. Oh, Walter was also a judge, too. Thank you. <laughs> Walter was also on Jeopardy before, so you might recognize him over there as well. So. Um, and for our closing remarks, now I'd like to recognize all the judges. You've all had a very tough job. The judges were chosen for their expertise in gardening and support the mission of this contest to encourage and inspire beautification throughout the city. A list of this year's judges can be found on the back of your program. And at this time, we'd like to invite all of the judges who are present to come up and join the mayor and the chief for a photo. These judges traveled over two nights from East Boston, Alston, Brighton, West Roxbury, through it. Some of them were going with flashlights at 9 p.m. at their last stop. So we want to thank them for all of their efforts. If any judges are here. And just so you know, most of the, all of these judges that are coming up now are all Hall of Fame winners. So these are all past um, judge. These are all past recipients that have won three or more times that are 
are judges, so you are being judged by your peers. Sure. I would like to recognize and thank the city's horticulture team for uh, this beautiful manicured landscape today, their assistance with the preliminary judging round, and it's a great job for all of our Sydney gardeners who are making do with the wet weather and conditions this summer. Thank you again for participating in the Mayor's Garden Contest, and thank you for your efforts to beautify our great city. Thank you to Mayor Wu and Chief White Hammond for joining us. And all of our winners, please uh, make sure you go to the check-in station to retrieve your prizes and gift bags. And we now invite you all to enjoy some delicious food and refreshments. Winners and judges, please remember to pick up your gifts at the tables right to the back. Thank you again, and we hope to see you all next year.